Hi guys, what's up? And welcome to another episode of Protopilot. In this video, we're going to be looking at the first of a, in a series of videos um, to look at all of the different responses that Protopy has to offer. So in this video, we're going to be looking at a response, which I don't think maybe many people know about that much or maybe have used that much, and it's the link response. So if we just go over to Protopy's website here in the documentation, you can see this is the link response. And basically with the link response, you can open websites or apps using URL schemes. So we're going to have a, a look at that. I'm going to show you two examples. One example is just linking to a web to a web page. And then the other example, we're going to actually pass some data into a real app from our fake prototype. Okay, so let's switch back to Protopy. So I've already set up a file. It's a pretty basic file, and we're going to really just be focusing on the link, the link response part of part of it. But just to give you, as I normally do, just give you a quick run through of what I what I'm using as the demo file. So I've just got a basic mobile app screen set up. I've got a carousel here, just with some cards in it, and these are just some of the articles. Uh, sorry, yeah, they're some of the articles that I've written on Medium. So we're just going to use this kind of fake app of my articles to basically add a link so you can go to the real article. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're just going to select card one, which is this, this first one, which actually has the wrong title. Um, let me just go to the article over here. So it's 13 tips and techniques to help you get better at prototyping. So I'm just going to copy that. Go back to Protopy, and I'm just going to paste that in. This is just a this is a pre-done component that I've created for cards, so I can just override the text down here. Okay, so I've got this card, which is this article that I've written on Medium, and I want to link to it from this fake app. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the card. I'm going to add a tap trigger, so a very basic tap trigger, and I'm going to add my link response, which is here. Okay, so the link response just basically is looking for a URL. You can also add formulas to it as well, but we're just going to focus on the URL part for now. You can see underneath there's an option to open in-app browser. So if you're new to mobile, there's basically two ways you can link from an app on your phone to, to something else. You can either link through an in-app browser, which is basically a stripped down version of Safari. So you can look at a web page inside of your app, but you're still inside of your app. So it's like this, this special custom web browser that you've got available to you. And this is what you have available in real apps. You probably would have seen this in apps like Twitter or maybe LinkedIn, where you're still in the LinkedIn or Twitter app, but you've got, you've got a web page being rendered. This in Prosopy is only available for iOS devices. So you see here iOS only. Um, we're going to we're going to select this and we're going to type in a URL. So I'm just going to go back to my, my web page and I'm going to just go into the URL field and I'm just going to copy this, this web address. The whole thing. And I'm going to come back to Prosopy and I'm going to paste this in. Okay. So we can see that our link response has now gone from orange to white, which means that it, that Protopy has got everything it needs. And to make this work, we're going to have to actually connect a real device. You can run it in the, in the preview window. What it's actually going to do if you run it from the preview window here, it's actually just going to go over to your desktop browser and it's going to open up that web page in your desktop browser. So you're not going to see the in-app browser part of it, this this guy here, this is because you're only going to see that if it's on a real device. So you can see here that I've connected a phone to, to Protopy. And if you've never done that before, that's this de device option just up here in the top right hand corner. You can see it's green, which means I've got a device connected to it. And you can see that's in blue and it's connected via USB. Okay. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the run button so that we can load this onto the device. Okay, that's loaded up here and I'm going to switch over and just I'm just going to use it on my devices. So you can see I can scroll through the carousel here and I'm just going to tap on this item here. And you can see that it's now opened up the real in-app browser. This is the real in-app browser. This is what you would see if you if you use the real app. And you can see it's loaded my real article on Medium into it. You can also see that I've got down in the bottom right hand corner, you've got the ability to skip over into the Safari web browser. So I can actually just tap that and I'm going to go to now I'm in the Safari web browser and I'm again, I'm looking at real content. So that's basically as easy as it is to build a fake prototype, but connect to a real website. So that's our first example of link. Okay, for our second example, we're just going to, let me just go back to Protopy and we're just gonna click done here so we can come back to our prototype. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to this, I've got this other scene, which is basically this detail screen. And again, just to kind of show the setup, I've, I've created this fake share sheet down the bottom here. It's just got a, a couple of options here. We're going to be focused on the messages option here. So if I just run this, okay. And um, if we switch over to my phone, I'm just going to hit this little share icon here and you can see that it just pops up this, this share sheet. Okay, so that's the basic setup, but I haven't actually added any of the link responses yet. So we're going to do that now. So for this one, what I want to do is I actually want to share the URL of this article to somebody via, via the messages app. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the share sheet here and I'm going to select my messages, um, which is conveniently called Twitter. <laughs> So we'll just change that to messages. So I've got my messages icon here. I'm just going to select that and I'm just going to add a tap trigger. And I'm going to add my link response. And again, we're going to have it as the URL. And this time we're going to add something else. So we're going to add a special URL schema. So I want to use messages. So messages app, you can use two, two kind of names for the messages. You can either use the word messages or you can use SMS. So I can just type SMS here and I'm going to type a colon and I'm going to type a forward slash forward slash. Okay. Now the next, the first thing that this schema needs is the phone number. So it can, it needs a phone number so it can send a message. Now, if you use the phone number of somebody that you've already um, been sending messages to, so you've got a message thread inside of messages, it's going to match that phone number to that person and it's going to bring up that message thread. I'm just going to make up a fake phone number and it's going to create a new, a new message for me. So I'm just going to create um, a fake number here. Okay, so this is my mobile number. And if I actually just, okay, so let's actually just run this on device. And I just wanna show you just the first part. If I just actually tap this, you can see, and I tap messages, you can see that it's opened up a new message and it's put in the phone number in the top of the screen. So that's pretty cool. Let's just cancel out of this and go back to how our prototype. Okay. So what I want to do though, is I want to actually share the URL. So I need to add a few more things to this, this URL string here. So the first thing I need to do is I need to put an ampersand because I want to add some more information and I want to add some information to the message body. So I need to use the keyword body. Okay. So I'm going to now type an equal sign. So I'm going to, to the, to the message body, I'm going to, it's going to equal to some particular content. So that's going to be 
our our article URL again. So I'm just going to copy that again. Come back to Predipi, and I'm just going to add it in at the end after the equal sign. Okay, so let's have a look at that. So I've got SMS colon forward slash forward slash the phone number I want to send it to ampersand body equals and then whatever content you want to send into the message. Okay, so let's run that onto our device and we're going to hit the share sheet again and we're going to hit messages and voila, you can see that it's pre-populated a message ready for me to send to this particular phone number. So if I just send that, okay, it's going to fail because obviously it's not a real message. But you can see here in the messages, it's got uxdesign.cc and it's got a little Safari icon, which means that it's actually sent the message. And if I tap on it, it's actually going to go to the real article, as you can see here. So that's um, a quick video just to show you how the link response works. You can look up lots of other different schemas. You can, you can launch any other app um, or a bunch of apps on your phone and you can send information into them. So if you want to send some information to Slack or you want to send some information to Twitter, you can do that. You just need to look up their um, custom URL schemas. If you just Google custom URL schemas and you should get to the documentation for particular apps and you should be able to find out the particular string that you need to put in here. Okay, so that about wraps up our look at the link response. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this content. And if you like the video, then please, please like it as well so others can find it. And I'll see you next time for another look at another response. See you later.